everybody so I'm just gonna do a quick uh, family vlog here I know as saving as savvy couponing mom I often talk about my shopping hauls and how to save money using coupons and price matching so today I just want to show you um, in my everyday life how I apply my tips to real life so this is actually um, a look into my daughter's playroom as you can see here um, she's just in her little reading nook that I created um, just wanted to show you some of the toys that we've gotten second hand or got a really good deal on and it's very possible to make a playroom uh, oasis for your own child to promote learning and to promote growth as well so just wanted to show you the um, upholstered kids toddler chair and footstool here I actually got second hand for $20 on the uh, on a Facebook um, community group buy and sell from another mom. Um, she had listed it and I was actually looking for something similar and I went to Costco and saw one for $99 plus and I just I just couldn't um, just couldn't buy it. It was just too expensive over $100. So I ended up um, looking on secondhand websites uh, where other moms are selling their items and I was lucky enough to find this chair for $20. It's upholstered. It looks leather only $20 so I thought that was a really great deal it actually comes with a footstool as well um, next item I have is my daughter's big little tykes toy box we got this to store all her toys that she doesn't play with and um, keeps everything organized as well and tucked away and we got this for $20 as well I got it off of uh, Kijiji um, a father was selling it and it's in really great condition, very clean as well, and I got it for $20 and I think this actually retails for over $100. Um, next item I got, as you can see here, is, I love this one, it's a 3D little town with a house and I got it on sale on Indigo online for about uh, 15 to 20 dollars I don't recall I bought a couple weeks ago for her and if it's two toddlers inside I'll just quickly show you how it has these mesh windows a little flap door oops, and it fits about two toddlers inside it was really easy to put together as well I don't remember what it's called but it's on um, the window indigo website if it's still available for sale it was about $20 on sale. So it's a 3D home in a town. Um, next item I have is this here. Um, it's a little baby uh, feeding chair attached with a crib, attached with a sink. And this I actually got for free. Um, another website I'm on via Facebook, it's a frugal mommy group. And often people post things that they're getting rid of that they no longer want. And you're allowed to um, post your interest on it and you can get it for free. So I got this for absolutely free. So I think it's really cute. Um, the only thing that was wrong with it was just the mobile here. It's just a little bit broken, but that doesn't affect the use of the toy anyways. So that's a really good price. Then my daughter has this huge dollhouse. It's actually taller than her. The dollhouse minus the furniture I got from another mom on the Facebook group and she was selling it for $40. So my daughter loves these dollhouses. She saw one at Costco. She was actually refusing to leave Costco because she really wanted it. Um, but at Costco I think it was $100 plus or more and uh, ended up finding equivalent uh, $40. So. This is really good and it's very sturdy. It's by Kids Craft, so it's actually made out of wood. And I ended up getting the furniture on um, clearance at Sears. They had like a hundred piece furniture for only twenty dollars. So I was able to get everything here. You see here sixty dollars, and I believe retail value for this is easily between a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars. And it has an elevator in it as well, so it's really cool. Um other thing I have here is this large Little Tykes Kitchen. So this Little Tykes Kitchen here, um, the kitchen, not the accessories, we got it at a garage sale that we were passing by and the lady there sold it to us for $8 and there's nothing wrong with it. It's a little bit uh, older version, but either way, it's still fun and my daughter loves it. We ended up getting just some um, utensils and things from Ikea for her to use. 
but this kitchen itself was eight dollars and I've seen equivalent um, to this in stores for easily between forty to a hundred dollars plus at Toys R Us and this one only cost us eight dollars and uh, the last thing I have here is a talking dollhouse it's called Mrs. Goodby and it's a three um, it's a three fold out dollhouse this um, I don't think they build this anymore they don't sell it anymore in stores but um, I there was a mom that was selling it on one of the mom's groups and she was selling for fifteen dollars so I actually got this for fifteen dollars and it comes with some accessories and there's buttons in there where you press and actually make sounds and talks so um, I believe this would have retailed easily over $100 as well because it's a talking dollhouse and I got it for $15. And a lot of the books that my daughter has here uh, we got at uh, Valley Village. They have a large selection of books that are in excellent condition. Some of them still have their price tags on them and they often go for $0.99 cents $1. Um, so a lot of the books you see here um, especially her Caillou books. We found a lot of Caillou books Caillou. of value. Yeah, Caillou at Valley Village for only one dollar. So we stocked up for her. She likes to change her books. So Valley Village is a great place to shop at. And uh, just to show you her reading nook here. Her pillows we got at Ikea. Um, I got this banner here, her, the alphabet banner that... Um, shows the whole alphabet. I got this at Dollar Tree. I believe it was um, the Dollar Tree and I got that for a dollar twenty-five and I think it's a really cute banner to accentuate the playroom. She's also learning her alphabet um, to prepare her for kindergarten this September. So I thought that was a really cute touch and I have this Ikea. I think this is only twenty dollars so it's not bad. I love love the design and the fabric. It's, um, it looks like, a, I think it's called a circus tent. So I wanted to really personalize my daughter's reading nook. So I got the circus tent to put over her little reading nook area so that she's comfortable to read. So uh, yeah, so every night she reads and uh, we read a book together right before bedtime to promote reading. So I just wanted to quickly show you um, once again, all the items and toys, a majority of the toys, I, I wasn't able to go through each and every one of them, but majority of them I was able to get second hand. And remember, if you're buying second hand, to also um, use Lysol wipes or bleach to clean it um, because you want to be safe than sorry, right? So make sure that you do clean it, and especially if you have a kid that's very curious and loves to learn, sometimes having the same old toys um, doesn't do it for her. So I need to always make sure that she is engaged in her toys and keeps her interested and not bored so easily. So buying secondhand is definitely a good idea. So just wanted to quickly show you um, her reading nook and her playroom and how I've kept my eyes out for deals for um, my family as well. So not just for couponing, and for groceries and personal items, but for my daughter's toys as well. I am as frugal as can be, but it's a good thing, right? We save a lot of money, and in the end, as long as she's happy and content, everything's good.